In this lesson I'll show you how you can create uh, multiple angles or shots from a, a single image. I had just created a, a screencast showing you that if you had multiple I images of the same building how you could kind of create an establishing shot. Um, but life doesn't always work like that. You don't always have uh, multiple shots. Um, maybe you're looking at a, st a traditional stock photo site and you have a picture of a building. So I wanted to show you how you could um, with a, a large resolution file of that building um, kind of tweak it um, using zooming, cropping, and, and panning um, to, to make it feel like it's different pictures. So uh, in PowerPoint here, if this is the, the single image that I have, um, what I'd want to do is I'm going to control D to duplicate that image. Um, and then I'm going to, you know, let's say that this, um, that first view is going to be the zoomed out view. And here I want to do something a little different. Um, first thing I'm going to do is just kind of crop the section that, that I might want to cover. Um, and let me zoom out here a little bit. There we go. Um, and you can tweak the aspect ratios and all that later, but let's say I want to take that, we'll call that like picture number two. Um, and then here, uh, let's duplicate that one again. And this is going to be maybe a slightly zoomed in. Let's crop that. Uh, Maybe it's a zoomed in view of the door, the entryway, but not not super tight. Maybe like like that. Now that'll be my third view. And then let's duplicate the original image again. And now I'm gonna have a super zoomed in view of just the door. So let's bring that down there like that, bring this across, and up a little bit. You know, and you're going to want, now when we're scaling these up, oops, where did that go? There it is. Okay. Um, when you're scaling that up, you want to make sure that you had a, a larger resolution file, and it might be better to do this, um, the, the cropping and, and zooming in a different program, but I just wanted to show you in PowerPoint. Um, and you could compress the, the images once you're done, um, because using that large image is going to create a large file. But um, let's go ahead and name these. So we'll call that zoom out, and that second one is going to be uh, our side angle. And then the third one is going to be the entryway. And then this one's going to be the door. Um, and you're going to want to get them to be the right size here. Um, and uh, let's just go ahead and scale, scale this one up. And you know, my cropping and everything wasn't right. You'd have to go back and tweak that the right way. But let's just go ahead um, and do it this way just for speed. Um, and this is obviously not going to be lined up or aspect ratio is proper, but um, it'll give you a better sense of what's what you can do. Let's grab this image, move it there, and scale it. And now you're going to want to do the same thing with the um, uh, with the animation pane. So now uh, we want to let's uh, hide these. So we want to animate this in. So again, you'll go um, animation up here. And then you want the next one to appear on top of it, up here. And the last one you want to make that one appear. And uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and see what that effect looked like. It's not going to be perfect with the alignment and everything. But you now there's our zoomed out view maybe a side angle view, the entryway, and then zoomed in um, a lot closer. So it wasn't perfect, but I think that gives you a sense of maybe what you could do with a single image if you had a large, um, if you had a large resolution file, how you could take that si single image, uh, zoom, crop, and pan um, to create an effect as if you had um, multiple, um, multiple angles of the same building. Hope you found that useful. Thanks so much.